coronavirus. 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 Coronavirus is the talk of the town. Since the first U.S. case on January 22nd, the virus has spread to all 50 states. States have issued a stay-at-home order for their citizens to reduce their chance of exposure. Many people only leave their homes for necessities. This has led to a nationwide panic. The immense panic has left many shelves empty. People are stocking up on food, toiletries, and any medical supplies they can get their hands on. An image of an elderly man standing at an empty aisle of toilet paper went viral in the first few weeks of this pandemic. This image is very impactful during this time. I believe that this picture helps people realize that they are impacting others when they buy in bulk. Coronavirus has a large impact on the economy. Citizens have shifted their spending to only what they need, like toilet paper, masks, and hand sanitizer. Many families have fallen on hard times because parents have been laid off. People are prevented from trips to the mall, vacations, sport games, just to stay alive. Unnecessary material items have become obsolete. In the early 2000s, the SARS virus hit the U.S. Within one year, it affected over 8,000 people and killed 774. This virus was contained within a few months. Although I was only three years old, my dad can recall that no one acted like this when SARS was around. There was no hoarding of items. During this pandemic, first responders are putting their health on the line to protect and serve. I'm Deputy Chief Gabe Guzman with the Waukegan Police Department in Northern Illinois. I've been a police officer for 27 years and I'm currently in charge of the patrol division. When did you realize that you had to stock up on personal protective equipment for the police department? We realized early in uh, March of this year that we uh, noticed that there was going to be a need for um, PPEs throughout the country. So we contacted our local vendors and uh, purchased some equipment and we had other items donated to us. What kind of items were donated to you? Um, through the course of this time, we've had hand sanitizer donated to us from local distilleries, also a distillery in northern Michigan. We've had masks and rubber gloves donated to the police station. We've also had individuals come forward and donate Clorox wipes. Currently in the housekeeper of all the equipment and about a quarter of my office is full of the essential items. How are these products distributed throughout the police department? So in the beginning of March when we saw this crisis coming forward we gave everyone a mask and gloves and safety goggles and as time has gone on when the officers use their masks or in, and or their gloves we reissue those items on a need basis. What piece of equipment would you consider very important now that probably wasn't considered that important a year ago? Oh, that's a really good question. Right now, the most important part of an officer's equipment is actually his protective equipment. So the masks that we issue, the goggles that they wear, in addition to the gloves that we have issued, every officer is taking major steps in order to keep him or herself safe. Things that we never considered important in the past have come to the forefront, and things that we find that were important in the past have basically fallen off the wayside for now. It is clear that this pandemic has changed the way people view material items. Possessions that were once glanced over are now at the center of attention. This is the same for the police station. As Deputy Chief Guzman said, Many items have stepped out of the shadows and are now being carefully monitored. With the help of the community, the police department has been able to handle this almost new world that we now live in.